Hello and welcome to Tector Edge. One of the best things you can ever do for your computer setup is add a second monitor. Then once you do that, you'll want to add a third, and then a fourth, and then it'll sort of spiral out of control. And that's why software like Display Fusion exists. And I'll be kind of reviewing it and kind of showing you how to use it with my six monitor setup. So first I'll run you through my setup. I have three ASUS VG248QE monitors in the center of my main desk. These are high refresh rate gaming monitors that switch between using NVIDIA surround and being in portrait mode for things like print publication work. Above the center monitor is another HD monitor that is mirrored to a TV across the room. That is so that I can easily switch between content on my computer and watching it on TV in bed. Off to the right of my main three monitors is my workstation area. I usually have a specific productivity oriented monitor here, whether that be a 21 by 9 or 16 by 10 or whatever. At the moment I'm testing out the ISO EV2730Q. This amount of monitor takes up an impressive amount of physical space. Moving between each one takes a lot of mouse movements at the very least. As well as that, the outer monitors are often being rotated between portrait and landscape, so resolution is constantly changing. That is why, if you have a setup like this, Display Fusion will be the best investment you ever make. It allows you to extend windows to do so much more. One of the most important things about multi-monitors is having a taskbar on each monitor. This is included in Windows 8 and later, but the Display Fusion taskbar is so much more flexible. Each taskbar on each monitor is completely independent and configurable. They can all be in different sizes, in different positions, with auto hide on or off. You can choose whether you want to have the system tray or start bar or even the clock on each taskbar. Heck, you can have a clock showing a different time zone on each monitor. Why not? Each taskbar can show only the tasks that are on that monitor or they can show all tasks at all times. Another thing that's annoyingly difficult to control in Windows is the desktop background. And again, Display Fusion makes this easy. You can choose to have one image span across multiple displays or have individual wallpapers on each monitor. You can apply basic effects such as grayscale or sepia and provide fine adjustments such as rotation, scale, position and blur, or even flipping the image horizontally or vertically. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. You can span an image across specific displays such as just monitor two and three, or have rotating wallpapers pulled from Facebook or Flickr or 500 pixels or a host of other sources. There's so much power here. The most important thing for me though is being able to save that wallpaper profile and to recall it later. I'll get into that in a bit. The monitor configuration window is where you set each monitor's resolution, refresh rate, color depth, orientation, etc. If you have NVIDIA surround or AMD iFinity enabled, you can split it up into smaller monitors to counteract some of the full screen bugs that occur with those softwares. Like the wallpaper configuration, you can save many different monitor configurations and I'll show you why that's important now. So in the current configuration, my three center monitors are in landscape mode with their respective wallpapers. This is a great configuration for most general purpose use, but when it gets into something specific, say programming, I want to rotate the right monitor into portrait mode. I can do this in Windows, but then I have to realign the monitors and fix the wallpaper and all of that. And if you're doing this regularly, such as a couple of times a day, that's simply not acceptable. So what I do instead is press Control plus two, which is my designated hotkey for this setup and it changes the orientation, the resolution, alignment, and wallpapers to fit my needs. You can even save profiles for desktop icons so that your icons are always where you want them when you change these profiles. I have profiles for many different configurations, which is always great when you plug in a new monitor or toggle off NVIDIA surround, which screws up your monitor configuration to no end. One simple hotkey and everything is fixed. But again, I'm barely scratching the surface of what Display Fusion can do. There are more controls than I know what to do with. You can embed some controls into the Windows title bar, such as moving the window to specific monitors or just moving it to the next or previous monitor. When you delve deeper, you can find some really amazing features that genuinely make life a lot easier. If you have a really wide setup, for instance, you can have the mouse loop around so it goes off the edge of the far right monitor and it appears at the edge of the far left monitor. You can stop windows from losing focus, so if you don't want a game to pause while you're checking out a web page, you can do that. You can also even lock the mouse to a specific monitor, which is really helpful if you're playing a game in windowed full screen and don't want the mouse escaping. You can toggle this and every other control by a hotkey of your choice. My personal favorite is allowing you to use the scroll wheel on windows that aren't in focus. This is really helpful in so many situations. 
If I'm writing the script for a review, for instance, and I have the product page open next to me for reference, I can scroll the web page without losing focus on the script. It's a freaking lifesaver. I've been using a monitor with more vertical space recently, this ISO one, and Display Fusion extends the Windows controls of snapping windows to the left and right by also allowing you to snap to the top and bottom. You can set certain applications to open on specific monitors, have windows snap to each other, change the windows log on background image. You can even rotate audio devices. So you can change the default output from your speakers to your monitor, to your headphones. This is very useful, but it's not as fast as it should be. So I still use my own custom software for that. There is even remote control software built in. I haven't really used it, but it's good to know it's there. And it's very reasonably priced. I think it costs about 60 US dollars, which if you only have one or two monitors, it might not be worth it for you. But if you have three or more, it is dirt cheap for the sheer amount of functionality you're getting. Display Fusion eliminates all of the little glitches and issues in multi-monitor setups while expanding Windows functionality in a huge way. If there is one piece of software that I couldn't live without, it is Display Fusion. Thanks for watching TechDredge. I really hope you found this review helpful. If you did, drop a like. If you noticed that the ISO monitor I was using here is a perfect square and looks freaking awesome, hit that subscribe button because next week I'm doing a full review of it. And spoiler alert, you'll probably want one. Stay tuned and I'll see you next week.